rains caused by a depression off the Pacific coast have been falling since Thursday. 250,000 people have fled their homes. Officials are expressing concern that effects of the floods could be the worst on record. The water just came rushing into the house. The flood came up so quickly, we all had to take shelter on the roof. Everything we had was gone within minutes. After two days, we lost all hope. And then we heard a helicopter above us. A day longer and we could have died. It's hard to predict when a disaster will strike. And with climate change and political instability a reality, the effects of disasters will worsen, putting even more demands on the humanitarian response. We are focusing increasingly on identifying risks, mapping vulnerabilities and understanding the impacts in order that we can design effective disaster risk reduction programmes. So if you find yourself on the front line, acting on behalf of governments, NGOs or charities, then this degree is designed especially for you. With an MSc in Disaster Management and Resilience, you'll explore what effective humanitarian action really means, where it fits with wider risk reduction activities, how we need to understand the communities we're working with and the complex range of challenges that they face. This course will allow you to evaluate interventions to ensure they're appropriate to local contexts and to take account of risks and longer term changes like population growth, migration, urbanization and climate change. You'll learn and share experiences with peers from across the world on a platform that is truly social. This postgraduate degree in Disaster Management and Resilience will enhance your leadership and decision-making capabilities. You'll become more adaptable during times of uncertainty. And by learning to strengthen relationships between people and agencies, you'll build resilient and sustainable communities for the future.